What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today I'm here finally. It took me a couple days. This is gonna be my review of Samsung One UI 4.0 Beta 2. I already made a couple videos on this uh, talking about the new color theming option, and I also did a quick comparison uh, to Material U and Monet on my Pixel 5a. If you're interested in either of those videos, I'll drop a link below. Uh, also, if you wanna help support my channel, uh, I'm gonna drop a link below to uh, Samsung's general phone page. If you guys ever buy anything from Samsung and you use my link, it really helps out the channel. I appreciate that. So anyway, let's get into the video. Obviously the big change here, which I'll only briefly mention because I already talked about it in the other video extensively, is the new color theming option that you get. You go into the wallpaper menu. Down here it says color theme. You can choose this. And it gives you three preset options to choose from in terms of picking which color theme you want. All of these colors are pulled directly from your wallpaper um, and they're not quite, it's not quite the same as Google's Monet, as I said, because one, you can't actually pick uh, the theme with Monet. It just automatically chooses the palette that it's going to use. Uh, and then the other thing, of course, that's interesting is that, you know, Samsung isn't quite theming things quite the same as Google. There is a little bit of variation, like, you know, the quick toggles and then the brightness slider have a slightly different variation here of purple or pink, I guess, pink. Uh, not quite purple, but pink. It's kind of hard to see on the video, but this is like purple. This is like a little bit darker pink color. Um, but it's not quite as differentiated as it is on the Pixel 5a with Google's Monet. And so that's actually kind of an important thing. Um, and it's actually nice to see, though, that Samsung's trying something, even though they're doing something a little bit different. You also don't necessarily get color matching in all of the Google apps. Uh, what you do get, though, is if you're using Chrome, you can see here in Chrome, this is actually Chrome beta on my uh, on my Galaxy S21 Ultra, you do get a purple color match here. So it is pulling in the colors in Chrome, but I think it's interesting that it's actually not doing that um, in like Google uh, other apps like Gmail. So you can see like in Google, Gmail, the Google feed, I mean, and Gmail, um, Keep, and some of the other apps, it doesn't pull in the colors. So you do get the colors pulled in in certain uh, Google spots, but not everywhere. In the Samsung apps, you get colors pulled in in lots of things like the calculator, uh, calendar, the Samsung calendar, the dialer, contacts. Uh, if you're going to gallery, you've got the accent colors there. Um, a little bit of everything, you know, the dialer and all that stuff is themed really nicely as well. So you also get in Google Drive a color matched widget. So you can see here, this is another Google app. I put this Google Drive widget here. Um, this actually does nice color match as well, and you can open up your Google Drive right from the home screen. Even though Google Drive itself actually is not themed because you still, I still have the blue there, um, this is themed and it's really a nice widget that kind of matches the overall aesthetic. Now, the other thing you can do with the new color theming on the uh, One UI 4.0 Beta 2 is you actually can use custom icon packs. So if you go into the theming, it'll tell you that you can't use a custom Samsung theme, uh, but you can use custom icon packs. So if you actually install GoodLock uh, and you install Theme Park, which I have right there, uh, you can grab icon packs from the Play Store uh, and you can play around with various themes. I think this one's called Crayola or Crayons or something. I just got bought this icon pack. It's a 99 cent icon pack, but I'll, I'll drop the link if you guys are interested. I kind of like the aesthetic. I just wanted to show off something that looked cool uh, with the new color theming. So it's nice that you can apply the icon packs from the Play Store still uh, with that new feature. Okay, so let's talk about a few of the other things that are here. Uh, aside from the color theming, which is very interesting, and hopefully they'll iterate on that and improve it. Um, obviously, there's you know they could do a little bit more with it. They could color your icons maybe in the stock uh, icon set, kind of like Google's doing, uh, and make that match the wallpaper and things like that. But you know it's a good start. I kind of like it. Uh, the other thing that you have here, which is something we've already seen on Samsung devices, uh, if you go into device care, you go into memory. Uh, you have the RAM Plus option now, um, the RAM Plus, of course, which is basically virtual RAM. And if you actually take a look at it, go in here, it says right there, internal storage is used as virtual memory to improve app performance. I was very skeptical of this. It actually is already on my Galaxy Z Fold 3, and I had not tried it yet because I figured this is going to be completely useless uh, on a phone that has 12 gigs of RAM. But it's actually not. Uh, I've noticed that kind of in navigating around apps, that when I used to navigate around on my phone on the S21 Ultra, occasionally it would close out some apps from memory as I was navigating around. But now, like all of my apps that I've opened recently, say within the last hour while I'm navigating around, they really don't close out of memory anymore. Um, so maybe that's because of the, the RAM Plus. I, I really noticed, you know, with Samsung phones historically, that even if you have a lot of RAM available, it'll close apps out 
uh, and then you'll have to reload those, even if it's a relatively short period of time that you're playing around on your device. Um, but the RAM Plus seems to make that a little bit better. I mean, at least I'm assuming that's kind of what it is. It could, of course, be something else entirely, but um, that, that's something I've noticed with that. Uh, the other improvements, let's see if I can show you guys here. Let me take the phone off camera for a second because I want to do a quick video call. I'll video call myself so you guys can see the new video calling options. Uh, here's the new video calling options. There's this little floating menu right here. So if you tap it, it'll show you the video calling effects. You can actually change your background. And there's these new mic modes here where you can do standard voice focus or shared. Uh, and shared actually then with all sound actually is like a shared version where you have like a group call. Um, and in that case, it picks up the audio from all the people that are around you, which obviously is perfect for group video calls that you might do for social things that have happened, you know, like during the pandemic, everybody's been using video calling for everything, including like social get togethers. So that's kind of a cool feature there in terms of the video calls. Those are mostly the actual big features, like in terms of user facing features, you know, they've added a couple other improvements, like with the Samsung keyboard and things like that. But those are the big user facing features. In terms of stability, uh, this is not very stable still. I wouldn't recommend running this on a daily driver because a couple things. One, the device runs pretty hot, um, just kind of navigating around. It seems to run a lot hotter, um, the actual touch of the device. Do you feel the back of it? I have it in my UAG case right now, but if you feel the back of this, it's quite warm, especially if you're doing a lot of multitasking. That actually wasn't a problem on beta one, so that seems to be a brand new pr uh, problem that exists here. Um, there's still a lot of lag opening apps. You can kind of see if I open Chrome, for instance, Chrome is very janky with its kind of animation in terms of opening. Um, that's, that's the case with a lot of apps, actually. They kind of close in a very kind of, you know, jagged way, not smooth at all. So that's kind of annoying. Some popular apps like Instagram, they, they tend to crash sometimes for me, which is not ideal, obviously. Um, and then other little issues like battery life has not been as good on this beta at all. I've maybe seen like a whole hour or two hours less average per charge now that I've been running this for like three days. That's obviously not ideal. Hopefully they'll tighten that up in the next beta. Um, and GPay still doesn't work as well. If you're a T-Mobile user, like I'm using this on T-Mobile, the eSIM option doesn't work uh, on beta two. So lots of issues that uh, are kind of problems. Android Auto is still working for me, which is nice, but all those other things are kind of big deals. Uh, I wouldn't want to use the phone if you don't have GPay and you, you, you can't use your eSIM if you want to do that. Those are pretty big things that I would stay away from the beta. Um, the next beta, three and four, they're usually more stable, uh, less new features, more stability being drilled down. So if you want to test this, probably wait until that and then you can try it out. Anyway, that's kind of a look at everything that I've noticed that's you know substantially user-facing that's new. As I find other little things, I'll post about them on Twitter. I also have a write-up of this on XDA if you want to read about it. Probably be posted later today or tomorrow or something like that um, in written form. Uh, and I'll drop the link there when it's there. Anyways, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, I'll drop the link below. You can also check out my other videos on One UI. I have a lot more stuff coming up on Pixel 6, uh, maybe even a little bit of Apple Watch versus Galaxy Watch 4 because I bought an Apple Watch. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see other than that. I uh, appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.